Hello Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be reviewing another Marianne Nails plate. If you're eyeing up my gorgeous money and want to know how I did it, I will leave links to it at the end of this video. So this plate is pretty cool and the name of it is negative on my nails. So all of the images are negative space. So that is going to allow you to sort of really have fun playing around with like multicolored um, looks, maybe marble or different gradients. Um, so, Cause basically the stamped polish will be the outside of the pattern and not the pattern itself that reveals the base of your nail polish. If that makes sense, you, it will all become clear when, when you see what I do. So you do need to remove the blue protective film. And I wanted to try some funky ways to stamp. One being stamping with powder, which I've wanted to try these techniques for such a long time, but never got round to it. And I actually saw this on uh, Sam H Nails. Um, it's a, a real cool way to stamp. So you would stamp as normal, pick it up with the powder on top of the stamper and press onto the nail. And how awesome is that? It looks like you've got a real cool gradient base and maybe stamped over it with black, something like that. And you just want to clean off with a lint roller, get rid of all that powder before um, you move on to the next step. You can do some real funky gradients. So I'm, I'm obviously, um, I'm just doing a two colour shimmer gradient here. which is going to look super pretty. So I'm going to try images over a black base and a white base. But how gorgeous is that? It really makes those flowers pop. Another technique that I've seen recently, I actually saw on Instagram from Alter Ego Nails, is to actually stamp with Sharpies. Mm, I know, I couldn't believe it myself. So basically you colour this image in however you want to colour it in with all different colours. You are going to need to obviously have stamping polish, which I'll show you in a minute. But I thought this was a real cool concept for nail art. So I've just got some white polish and you put that over the top. This is my first time doing these, by the way. So please forgive me if it's not perfect. But how cool is that? You kind of like, obviously with this one, it's given like a pastely look but you can really have some fun with this plate. So yeah, so I know it's not my usual way that I do it because obviously I'm doing it with powders and this is my holographic powder, which is just like so sexy. <laughs> You've got to love a bit of hollow, haven't you jelly babes? It's just gorgeous. So again, you would stamp it like normal, which for some reason I just recorded this because that's so helpful to you, isn't it? <laughs> but that's the image that I took. So I stamped it like normal. And there you go. So I went off and top coated it. And this is it under a strong LED light. But how cool is that? I love um, the fact that you can play around with this. That you don't just have to use powders. You can get some really funky looking nails um, without even using a polish. So you can do like a vertical gradient, so again, kind of move it over slightly to blend those colours. So you can see that orange. In fact, I have overblended this one, <laughs> so it looks more orange than it does pink. So I'm using a different powder. These um, crime powders are my Born Pretty ones, and they are um, high, high, no, top grade, sorry, pigments. So they've got some real gorgeous colours. So you really want to rub it in and make sure that there's no loose powder. And again, get your polish like normal. And pick up. You do want to work quickly. That's why I'm not major leak showing you because the polish will dry and then it won't uh, stick. And with this one, I made a mistake because the base, I actually had a no wipe top coat on, which obviously the chrome powder sticks to. But it did have quite a cool embossed um, look on it. So I did it again. So you can see the black coming through underneath. Which just is just awesome. So it got me thinking, could you use nail flakies and do the same sort of stamping? I mean, how pretty are those colours, Jelly Babes? You've got that rainbow of colour. So I really am like rubbing it into the stamper. And you get that gorgeous rainbow effect. 
So I'm just going to take this image here, stamp it like normal and place it onto the nail. Does it work? No. <laughs> but waste not, want not. I'll just this have this as my pretty base to stamp over. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that didn't work because that would be very, very pretty with the different colours that you get with flakes. So there you go. Still looks gorgeous. You get that lovely rainbow peeking through. And with this one, I thought you can kind of go with like, um, like a chalkboard effect. But actually, after I stamped it, it probably would have been better doing a black over white. <laughs> That's more the chalkboard feel, but there you go. Can you see any letters in there? I can see two. I saw Rod and Yar. <laughs> so I'm going to try the Sharpie um, technique again, but I'm going to put this over a white base. It'd be good if it blended properly. It kind of just like overpowers whatever you've done before. Anyway, I'm just adding different bits of colour. So you really want to sort of rub it on for a while to get most of the colour as possible. I'm going to put the white on it again and scrape it a little bit more this time. There you go. So it's really, it's cool actually, you kind of create like pastel looks. There you go. So that's a gorgeous spring slash summer look. So um, all details about the plate and like links will be in the description box as they always are along with the products that I have used but I'm just going to pop some music on now for the rest of the video so sit back and relax and I'll meet you back at the end.
that is the last swatch jelly babe so i'm just going to clean them up off camera and this is the end look so i know it's a bit mixed mash with all the different things going on but i hope you enjoyed seeing the different effects that you can do with stamping with different powders and um yeah so this is a real funky plate I'm going to enjoy enjoy using it more in the future. So I hope you found it helpful. Thank you, Marianne Nels, for sending me this um, for review. Thank you for watching. As always, Jelly Babes, please press that free subscribe button. And until next time, take care. Bye.